Tom, they said when Tina Boo becomes the new president that things shall be better, that he will open border and allow importation of goods. I even heard he has opened some borders. We were told that goods, food stuff shall be cheap. Do you know that I stored 20 drums of palm oil and when I heard that he will open the border and that we will have plenty of oil from Malaysia, I rushed and sold my drums of oil, now oil price has increased, people that didn't sell theirs are enjoying, it is more expensive than she. I sold out mine out of fear, what kind of a thing is that? Guy, don't let me remember something please. You know I deal on clothing materials, sample materials, I sold my stock. All of it at giveaway prices, because I thought when the border is opened and new things comes into the country that I will lose my money, my capital with profit. Now see me. See me now. Chai. It's even more expensive when I went to make new purchases and restock. Imagine, I could have been married last year before the changed government. We thought Buhari's government was worst, imagine, the man will be laughing at us now. This Chinabu we wanted and voted for is not baiting well, we were saying I'm badified, be badified now, look at us. They say we should be patient that it will be fine, that he ruled Lagos state well, how old was the man when he governed Lagos? How old? Are you asking me? How am I supposed to know? Prices of items in the market has increased. Things are very expensive rice that we used to buy at the rate of 35,000 naira is now 45,000, some people are selling higher than that. Do you know that Indian George that ladies use for traditional marriage at Abba price is 100,000 naira, I mean a whole 100,000 naira. I begged the sailor, pleaded with her to give me discount but she refused, she said that it's because of high cost of petroleum products, petrol and high transportation cost, high exchange rate. That, that's the reason the wrapper has increased in price. She said it wasn't her fault that things have really increased. She told me that last year, it was given at 50,000 naira. Oh. See me, see us that wanted to marry. Look at us now. The things we budgeted for has increased three times the price, and there is no money coming in, we have already started spending from the savings we had, how will that be? Why didn't we manage and get married last year? Who did us this kind of a thing? I am so sick and tired. So like this someone will stay and get old without being able to get married because of hardship in the country? Mercy goodness. My friend, you are even talking about marriage, what of us that have burial to organize? You know we must bury our late father, else... The mortuary fees will keep increasing and people will think that our late father did not have well-to-do children, or did not train us well, or that we are poor. We did market survey, estimated the things we'll need for the burial, but we got the market, items has increased beyond the estimated amounts we made from the last survey. Imagine, goat that was 37,000 naira is now 42,000. You know we need plenty of it, for consultations before the burial. We have to consult many places. And we will need goats too for cooking for entertainment after interment and closing of the morning house. I'm not even talking about chicken. The price of chicken has increased to because the feeds that used to be 9,500 nera is now 11,500 nera. I'm not even talking about yam. To buy big big tubers of yam is very expensive. Not to talk of vegetable oil. So you see... Everything is on the high side, even onions, crayfish. The burden and worries on how the burial will come to a success wearies me. It wearies my siblings too. Babe, it's crazy. Hmm, that one too is very important, my friend, what are you people going to do? You just have to do it anyhow, let him just get buried, it's just to cover his face from the earth and not allow him rot on earth without burial. Why don't you do your wedding anyhow? Easier said than done, huh? It's easier to give someone advice, when you can't practice what you preach. I have heard you madam advisor. Or, please don't be angry, I'm sorry, but burial is not a profitable occasion, wasteful burial is waste of money and resources. Someone has died, bury him, that's why I love our Muslims brethren, 
they don't waste time to embalm or do wasteful ceremonies when their loved one dies, our own Christianity, we will do to kill ourselves. I feel sick these days, I don't feel like going out or talking to anyone, I feel withdrawn from people or events, I can't sleep or eat. If not that you drag me out of the house today, I'll just be there thinking. My guy, I think you are depressed. I don't feel depressed but I do have constant headache these days. Mind you, it's not Christianity religion that makes burial to be expensive. It is the cultural thing, the traditional people that make burial too high not Christianity. You know, in our culture, we respect the deaf, we pay last respect to them. You of all people should know that the big burial shows class, how well to do a person is in the society and the status of the children of the deceased. So, cut me some slack and stop saying what annoys me when you can't do a small wedding but wants us to do a mediocre tick burial for my late father. You want a wedding that will be the talk of the town, so excuse me, you are as guilty as I am. So stop being sanctimonious, let's face this hardship and forget small or big burial or wedding. Hmm, I have heard you madam. I am seriously having a headache. I have been thinking seriously about the hike in prices of things, food, clothing, materials, everything. I feel so sad that till now, we have not been able to complete items in my list and I can't buy my accessories. I need to look good on my day, hair, makeup, accessories has to be perfect. I am a babe. Good for you. Kenneth and Tom has been complaining bitterly, arguing and sweating profusely. They complained about goods, cost of items in the market, how hard life has become. Tom has been depressed. Kenneth is having symptoms of high blood pressure. On the other hand, Angela and Joy are worrying, abusing themselves and developing sickness because of worries. That is the spirit of torment, spirit of heaviness, tormenting spirit torturing our modern world. Heaviness has ripped off people of their blessings. Tormenting spirit of heaviness comes in form of feeling of depression and rejection. You can't do a big burial or wedding, you can't pay your rent, you can't buy new clothing. Find something in the midst of your pain, find something that gives you joy, be joyous until everything turns out well. For you to access blessings from the Lord, you need joy, you can't access blessings in the spirit of heaviness. No one can offer you joy, it is you that will find it. Murmuring and complaining will only make you bitter and won't solve anything, so why engage in it? When we think too much worry over everything, we can develop high blood pressure, as a result of worries and lack of sleep. Criticizing and condemning the government of any regime is not the way forward. To live victoriously, we have to learn to take some rest, live one day at a time, plan events according to the capacity of our wallet not to show off to the society. Learn to sleep by yourself, else doctor will have to force you to sleep by injecting drugs to sleep. Take good care of yourself and your life. Don't allow the present condition make you sick. Try to laugh often. It's unfortunate many people find it difficult to laugh. Laughing is a problem to some people. They will tell you that to laugh is not in their character. Lack of laugh in our day lives wearies the soul and weakens our bodies. People complain of exchange rate, fuel price, fuel hike, high cost of transportation. Listen, whether you are angry or not things will still be expensive, there'll still be inflation. So why are you killing yourself? Why worry?